from Los Angeles. It's the Tom Likas Show. Great. And now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Right down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Here we are the day after Thanksgiving. We're taking the day off and... We'll be back with some brand new shows next week. Meanwhile, we're playing back some of our favorite moments from the past. Here's Dominic. The biggest disgrace of Eminem is that he chose that so-called music, that imbecilic rap, as a medium to express himself. Rap is an insult to intellect. Huh? No white person should ever pollute himself with that so-called music. I see. What kind of music should we pollute ourselves with? A music that is based on melody and harmony. Only that music is uh, suitable for well, a civilized... What does melody or harmony have to do with intellect? Uh, you could live in the uh, uh, deepest reaches of the third world somewhere uh, without telephone or television. People have uh, harmony and rhythm, but how much intellect do they have? Uh, I doubt if they have any harmony there. They have rhythm and dynamic and this. These elements... Well, I don't, think, I don't think rhythm has anything to do with intellect. Of course it doesn't. That's the point. Or, uh, or, and nor does harmony. Exactly. Only, only uh, harmony and melody has to do with intellect. On the other hand... What do they have to do with intellect? Why? Because, uh, look, only civilized people can create music that is based on these elements. People in Africa, in jungle, uh, cannot uh, really based their music on these values, uh, these elements. They can uh, create their music only on rhythm and dynamic. I see. So it is possible to have rhythm and not have intellect, correct? Of course. All right. So why is Eminem an insult to intellect or rap music? Why is that? Because he cannot rise to higher levels to create his music on melody and harmony, which are... Really. So what you're saying then is Britney Spears is further up on the intellect scale than Eminem. Of course. Really? No, no white person should ever pollute himself with an imbecilic black rap. Oh, now we're getting down to brass tacks here. You've got a problem with black people. I have a big problem with imbecilic animals like black people. Oh, uh, and they're all imbecilic animals, are they? Of course. All right, so who would you rather be hanging out with then? Uh, would you rather be hanging out with uh, Colin Powell or uh, uh, Ted Bundy? Neither. One is criminal, the other is affirmative action general. They don't belong among civilized people. Really? Yes. If I may ask, which civilized nation do you come from? Uh, I come from Colombia, but my parents uh, are white people, purely white people. They came I see. From Europe. Do they have the Klan in Colombia? Klan? The Ku Klux Klan? I don't know because blacks, they are not allowed to terrorize the country as they are allowed here. Oh, no. That, that's left to the white people to terrorize Colombia. No, white people don't terrorize Colombia. Oh, no? All right. Well, who is shooting all of the uh, people who are climbing mountains in Colombia? Who is, who is uh, raping and attacking all the people in downtown Bogota? Who is that? Uh, these are paramilitaries. What color military. are those people, sir? Huh? What color are those people? They are browns. The browns? Yes. I see. You have a problem with browns, too. Of, of course. How are you able to live in Colombia with all the brown, and there are black people there, too? How are you able to live there with all those people? Hardly ever, only because my parents were there, so I escaped as soon as possible. I see. And then you came to uh, the Bay Area. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of brown and black people there. How, how, how do you live there? Hardly ever. That's why... What the California needs is racial and liberal cleansing. Really? Yes, to return America to purely white. That's what's absolutely necessary. I see. Are you a member of any of these uh, organizations? Are you mean the radical white organization? Yeah, uh huh. Yes, I am, yes. Really? Which one? Crusade Against Corruption. Crusade Against Corruption? Yep. 
Uh-huh. It's from Georgia. It's an organization sure it of uh, true American patriots who want a purely white America. Really? Yeah. And uh, how many of those guys like the idea of a Hispanic in their mix? None. I'll no, bet they Hispanic. don't. So, no. Uh, yeah, but aren't you Hispanic? No, I'm purely white. Oh, wait a minute. What is your name? Second name? Yeah. Well, that I cannot tell you, sorry. Uh-huh. Well, you lived in I Colombia. Wait a minute. You lived in Colombia and you're not Hispanic? No, my parents came from Europe. Oh, they came from Europe. Where, Germany? I think Switzerland, Austria. Ah, uh, yeah. What are they, like Nazi escapees or something? Yep. They are? Mm-hmm. That's great. Well, we're just thrilled as punch. How did you happen to find our show? Well, uh, I think your uh, observations on women, how to get them for a nightstand, are correct. But unfortunately, you have nothing to offer to somebody who is interested in a long-term relationship for courtship, for romance. How would you feel about marriage. snagging some brown or black tail? Uh, black tail? Black? Yeah. And no white person will have no honorable respecting white person will never consult with any black or brown. Really? Yes. Oh, I've done that. I'm sorry. Because you are not a... I heard that you have an inclination towards a color women, so of course you are... A Colored women, yes. Yes, well, well, women of color, I see. Yes, you are a race traitor. I'm a, a race traitor? Yeah. So in other words, I should be loyal to people like you and no. not have sex with people who are brown or black. You, you should be loyal to your people, white people. You should uh -huh. consult only with them if you respected yourself. But you obviously don't. I do respect myself. That's I why don't. I would, if I were ever to be with a brown or a black person, they would only be of the highest attractiveness. It doesn't matter. They are still brown or black. They are inferior to white people. Really? Of course. Or is that so? It is so. I see. And you are superior to who exactly now? I am superior to all colors. You're superior? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What do you do for a living besides uh, go out and um, uh, attend meetings of people who hate uh, people of color? I work with computers. You work with computers? Yep. I see. Any uh, people of color working there? Unfortunately, yes, but only in support positions. I see. Very nice. Hang on, let me put uh, Marcus on the phone here. Marcus, what did you want to say to Dominic? Anything? Oh, man, Tom. First of all, hello, Tom. Hello, Marcus. What's cracking, baby? Uh, not nearly enough. Well, first of all, how can this guy crusade crusaders against corruption? You're preaching corruption, you big idiot. You're sitting here talking about you're superior, and then you're going to say you're a crusader against corruption. Well, what is that preaching but corruption? I mean, between different races. That's exactly what you're doing. And you to say that Eminem isn't intelligent, first of all, you don't know how much intelligence it takes to make a rap song. You think... You could do it. Let's hear you rap right now, since you're so Mr. Intelligent and Superior. In Swiss or Spanish or whatever language you speak. Exactly. Let's hear it. That's what I thought. You're over here preaching this nonsense. You crusaders against whatever kill me. You talk all this junk, and your little old towns where remember there's about a population of 2% black people, you cause all this havoc. But if you're, if you're so much about the superior race and your points and your views, then bring your views and your points to where there's, let's say, 90% black people and maybe 10% you guys. Dominic, uh, since we believe in your freedom of speech, uh, why don't you take me up on my offer? I'm going to take you out to uh, Oakland. Uh, we'll announce where we're going to be, and then uh, you can tell your views to the people of the community. I don't talk to blacks. That's why I leave that color for you. Marcus, you Marcus what color are you? I'm black. Ooh. So that's that's exactly, he's a prime example of what I'm talking about. A big dummy with no intelligence that talks all this stuff about what they preach for, but they only preach it in towns where there's no blacks hardly. Go preach your views where, who you're against. Tell them what you have to say, like Tom said. Let's, let's, let's get together, meet there, and you can voice your opinion out in the open. I'll get you a megaphone. We'll put you up on top of a car right there in downtown Oakland, in front of the Oakland Tribune building. We'll put you right out there. And you can, uh, because we believe in freedom of speech, we'll let you make your opinions known. I'll pay all the expenses. See, Dominic's not talking now because Marcus is black and he doesn't talk to black people. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Yeah, what an idiot. Right. Well, Tom, 
Well, Marcus, thank you. I appreciate the call. I really do. But let me also get Raul on here. Now, Raul, say hi to uh, Dominic. Guess what? You know, I'm a Latin, gay, love rap music, love Elton John. I'm pretty universal. I like it all. You know, there's no, no boundaries here. I get along easy in the world. I can get along with anybody. I feel sorry for you, buddy. You know, if, if, you, if you know what America is, it's an accumulation of everything. You know, if you don't like it here, go home. Find, find a home that will take you because I don't think anybody will. You know, we don't need that crap here, you know? Dominic Hello? doesn't talk to brown people. And we we want people don't want somebody like you. You don't get you out. Don't to us, so then I get will, out. Then I leave. will really not be talking to you, sir. I, I, I guarantee you there's more people like me around than there are like you. Yes, I unfo- unfortunately, yes. By the way, Dominic, uh, are you an American citizen? Not yet. Not yet. Please. You know, most Americans don't want you here. Exactly. Most Americans have the same opinions as, as I. The only difference is that they don't have my character to speak about it publicly. That's the difference. You call that English? What do you, I can't even understand what you're saying. It sounds more like Swahili. Because you are too stupid to understand what I'm saying. That's why. I have a college degree. I have a bachelor's in, in science. You have a, a college science. degree from uh, ethnic studies for imbeciles like you. Uh, I know you, what they... <laughs> what they Lecture those studies that Egyptians were flying I, I, airplanes. I want to know, I, I want to know who hired you. I want to know the idiot that gave you a job. That guy's got to be a bigger idiot than, than anybody I know. You know? How are you here? Why are you Somebody here? trying to hire cheap foreign labor, no doubt. <laughs> you only got a job probably because they gave because you thought they thought you were from somewhere else, not because of your personality. Because your personality sucks, dude. Back to what we were talking about, the Eminem, Elton John thing. You know, they're both artists. You know, they both have their own opinions. You know, I'm a fan of both. If I like. Eminem, and I like Elton John, you know, and a sexual boundary means nothing, you know. They're both artists. They, they, they obviously admire each other's music, and that's why they're doing this, for those people who are concerned. I'll music, tell you what the re- music of people of higher intelligence is based what, on melody and harmony. What, would you give, give me a for Like me Britney example. Spears, for example. <laughs> that's what he said, Britney Spears. Uh-uh. <laughs> I asked him that. Uh-uh. Britney Spears has more intellect than Eminem. Oh, course, my God. Absolutely, yes. Absolutely, yes. Well, wh- wh- what kind of music do you like? I like uh, European Wagner. hard rock and heavy metal. He, like, like, and, and, he and likes where, where Wagner and, uh, yeah. That... <laughs> where does that music come from? Uh, that music is based uh, deeply on the classical music, really. You know, if you ask, you ask where you ask the, the real original master for rock came from, you ask Elvis Presley, you ask the Beatles, it all came from black-oriented music. It had rhythm and blues, you know, so somewhere, you know, if you like that music, then it's got to, it had to originate somewhere. And that's where it came from, pal. It's true, it, it does have some origin in jazz and blues, but really it's mostly based on, uh, okay, so, on the so, beauty that comes from melody and harmony, and that was developed in Europe <laughs> from the classical music. Wait a minute, Ra- <laughs> metal? Metal <laughs> is based on classical music? No, no, <laughs> European hard rock, uh, such as... Uh, Deep Purple, Rainbow, White Snake. This is a music that is really based on melodic ideas uh-huh. that were first developed in the classical music. Right. On the other hand, the rhythm and dynamic, oh. of course, and, has and to you know do what? something you know with blues. And let me tell you something about the arts. In the arts, if you work anywhere in any kind of industry where there's music and stuff, you have black people working for you, you have Latino people working for you, you have white people working for you. It takes a, it takes everybody to make one, one album. You know, there's not just a bunch of Caucasians from Europe in a room trying to put some together. You know, it's a, it's a collection of, of a lot of different people's personalities, intimacies, and whatever. You know, it's so. Not true because, uh, for instance, my idol, uh, one the genius, the best and most original rock guitarist of all times, always me? hated black Isn't music. It? And, uh, uh, who is that? Uh, he's uh, Richie Blackmore. He's yeah. the guitarist of Rainbow, Rainbow and, yeah. and yeah. Deep Purple. And he really left Deep Purple because he was disgusted with the black elements that the basses Hughes introduced into that album. So I'm amazed really... you don't love Eminem. <laughs> who? I? Yeah, exactly, pal, exactly. So he really hates uh, black music, as I do. How do you feel about gay people while we're at it, Dominic? Exactly. I think uh, it's outrageous that they are allowed to promulgate their perversion as much as, uh, as they do in the moment. They, can, they are allowed to do it 
in their homes. But Is that why you moved to the Bay Area? Because oh, you hate gays so much? To fight them. Yes, I love to fight them, absolutely. You do? <laughs> it's an outrageous how they are allowed to promulgate their perversion. Dominic, nothing is more outrageous than you. Tom like it. Ram. Tom like it. Ram. 100. 500. Tom, 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 Tom. 97. Po this is the Tom Likas Show. From Los Angeles at 1-800-5800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. This is Ellen. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Ellen. I'm calling to tell you something that you may not like to hear at this time because you're having nude women around. But anyhow, a half an hour ago, Gray Davis was in San Francisco signing a, a document making same-sex marriages in now and so well, out. How could that happen if the legislature of the state of California hasn't approved that bill? I don't know, but that's what that's what all the other stations are excited that he's got it signed and the people who used to be against it, the churches. Well, the, do any stations have a uh, let me ask you a question. Do any radio stations have a news department in Los Angeles anymore? Yes. Uh, really? Which ones? Uh, 1260 and 540 and um, couple, couple of them and, have news. And, so, uh, so AM 1260 80. announced that Gray Davis signed a bill into law without the approval of the state legislature. Yes. Okay. And and so now you can expect men to be married to men and women to be married to women. Are you girls in favor of that? Yes. Hell yes. <laughs> Okay, I just wanted you to know. All right, now you're gonna call. Well, you gonna call Larry Elder now? No. But Al, uh, Alan, call Larry and uh, call Larry and tell him that uh, uh, Tom just uh, signed a woman's breast. Okay. With yes. A, I in, can picture without the, everything. Without he the does. approval. You can picture everything I do. Would you yes. like me to sign your rack, Ellen? <laughs> I'm 88 years old, dear. That's okay. Do you have a nice rack? Oh, definitely. I was in show business for 20 years. Really? Yeah. What's your cuff size? Uh, uh, D. You got a D cup? Really? D 45. Wow. Uh, I'd, I'd like to get a look. <laughs> I have never seen an 88-year-old breast. Okay. It looks great. It almost stands up straight. Does it really? <laughs> almost. I love that. And I listen to you all the time. That's. Are you shaved or unshaved, Ellen? Unshaved. You're unshaved? I don't need to shave. Is that what? Uh, yeah. I don't grow hair on my arms or legs or there. Or there. <laughs> it's just bald, naturally bald. <laughs> and I'm also a ventriloquist, and I love to hear you when you go into your second voice. Oh, really? <laughs> <He's laughs> That's so. Uh, 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 I studied under uh, uh, Edgar Bergen. Really? Yeah, and I was in the newspaper for being on his program and winning a thousand dollars. What uh, What voice do you do? I just do a uh, Susie, my ventriloquist style. It's almost a yard tall. Oh, really? What does uh -huh. that sound like? What does that sound like? Yeah, I'd like to know. Uh, you want me to talk to you with her voice? Yeah, be Susie, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello, honey. I love you, Tom. You like that? Susie, that was, I'm sorry. Ellen, that was wonderful. <laughs> okay. That was great. And I, I didn't think you'd let me be on the air. Of course we let you on the air. What are you getting? Okay. My, my goodness. And um, we don't discriminate due to age on this program. Well, we well, we only keep failed sitcom actors. There are here. some very young, tight, firm bodies down I here right now. I thought you said one day that they couldn't be over forty-seven. Ah, uh, well, we did say that, but we've always made exceptions. Look, you're on the air. Yes, isn't now, that great? Now, do you enjoy hearing these two girls going at it in here? <laughs> Pardon? Did you enjoy hearing these two girls going at it in here? Yeah. <laughs> You did? Yeah. How about when a good I man? When was the last time you had a good man, Ellen? When I first got into show business, oh. and I was uh, to go to Arizona, Yeah. and the uh, MC who liked me very much asked me for a date. See, some things have never changed. A little casting Jerry. couch action? Is that what happened? <laughs> and when I, he took me to a house, and they had a circle of 20 people doing it. <laughs> Are you serious? I wouldn't even go in the room. Now, did, you, did Edgar Bergen ever hit on you? Edgar Bergen? Yeah. 
No. No? I was on his show. I know, but I wanted to be hit on you. Maybe there was a price oh, to be no. paid. The only thing he said, I can say uh, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers without moving my mouth. And when I did, he says, oh, it can be done. <laughs> oh. And an agent saw me uh. and called me, and I got in a movie called Shortcut to Hell with James Cagney being the producer. Really? And um, when I went there and got in the movie... Shortcut to Hell, which wasn't too good. <laughs> it was a rewrite of Gunsmoke. But anyhow, I was a ventriloquist in a nightclub mm. on the on in the movie. And um, when I did my first lines, uh -huh. my doll and I, and he walked up and he opened his legs like he always did, and in a soft voice he said, "Don't look into the camera." And that was when he was so opening I his said, legs. I said, "All right." So. I did the scene again. Did you open I your legs? In the camera. Yeah. He, he walked over to me again with the script, and he says, yes. what's that number? And I says, it's 27. He said, we expected to have 26, 27 retakes on you. You did it the second time around. You're the greatest person I've ever met. Ellen, let me ask you a question. Uh, have you ever called in before? No. All right, and you've been listening for a long time? Pardon? That, so you've been listening to the show for a long time. A long time. All right, well, I just want you to say this phrase for me one time, okay? Pardon? I want you to say this phrase for me one time. Will you say it for me? I'm going to repeat after me, okay? Long time listener, first long time, time listener. Call. No, say it all in one phrase. I'm going to say the whole thing, and then you say the whole thing. Long time listener, first time caller. Long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and say Peter Piper. Peter Heiser picked well, a peck of pickle peppers that without what? moving my lips. Uh, but boy, I'll tell you what. what? Did, uh, did Ellen ever incorporate the doll into a, a sex act of any kind? Did, does, does, does the Susie character ever come out when she's in bed? Yeah, do you do you ever do anything like that? Yes. Oh, I travel quite a bit with her. Really? In my 20 years that I was in show business, then I became a minister. Oh, so you, no more <laughs> sex acts with the doll after that. <laughs> Don't use the doll anymore. Mm, boy. Okay. Well, and I love you, Tom. Well, Ellen, we love you. you oh, I want to tell you. Yes. Uh, you should ask two questions. You should have a program with asking people if they ever said anything they wish they hadn't have said <laughs> as one subject. Uh-huh. And the other subject is uh, find out how many girls have put doctors and dentists paid for their way through school, expecting to marry them, and the day they... Uh, graduate, they, they... They dump them. Drop you immediately. Oh, boy, you are a big fan, Ellen. Well, thank you for that. By the way, why is it people born before 1920 can never say the word program? They always say program. program. <laughs> what is that? Why is it they go on and on forever, too? Well, you are not kidding. Ellen, thank you uh, so much. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. This is the Tom Likas Show. From Los Angeles, the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Frank. Hello. Hello. Yep. Hello. Yeah. We'll say yeah. Hello. Hello for the fourth time. Hello. Yeah, who am I talking to? I'll wait till the Hello? radio catches up. That's in the radio turned up over there, is it, Frank? Yeah, I was listening to the Tom Walker show. Oh, really? And yeah. who do you want to talk to? Well, I'd like to express an opinion to him, but I, 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 doubt, I doubt like hell if he'll even talk to me oh, because you... of my age, because I've been making announcements for the last hour. If you're over 70, don't call in. If you're is, that what, is that what he said? Oh, I didn't hear that. Yeah. 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 What do you want to say to him? I've just been listening to him, and I think it's drastic the way he's approaching things. That's really? All. How so? Yeah. How, how do you, how do you what, feel? Now, what, what is your name? Me? Yeah. Uh, my name's Tom also. Tom, huh? You work for, you, oh, you're not, but you're not Tom Laika. Me? Tom Laika? No, I'm not Tom No, Leica. No, no, but you work for him. And you're screening the calls that come in, right? Well, I've, I've Mike screened, and now I'm screened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what can I do for you? Well, there was an invitation for people to call in and talk to him. Really? It's a talk show. Is he doing that again? Huh? Is he? Was Tom doing that again? Oh, for Christ's sake, man. What's the matter with you? Come on. Wait, hang on. I'll see if I can get Tom for you, okay? Hold on. Tom 
Tom like his show from Los Angeles at 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Frank on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Yeah? Can I help you? Hello? Can I help you? Yeah, because I will do this so that you can record it and play it back again, huh? What? Now, what do you want to trick me with this time? Oh. Well, what now, you... Yeah, you told me to turn it on the radio, but after I talked to you, then I turned it up a little bit, and oh. there I was, you know. Well, you're not supposed to turn it up. You're supposed to leave it down. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> Look, you got to get... Is this loud enough for you, Gramps? You going to broadcast that? No, we're not going to broadcast that. Of course we're broadcasting it! All this right. is a goddamn talk show! Yeah, I know, I know. And I'm listening to the radio now. But and you're talking to the radio because I said that 20 seconds ago. Yeah, I know. I, oh, I know you do. It is. But I never did talk to Tom. Oh, you want to talk to Tom? Yeah, because I want to tell him what, how I feel and the way his attitude is toward the older people. Uh -huh. And I want to... I'm listening now. Yeah. See, I'm listening to it now. What are you listening to? The same. I'm listening to it 20 seconds ago. You're repeating everything that I just said on the phone. Oh. Got a real scammy, scammy uh, program going on there. I think it's disgusting. Really? I think it's distasteful. I think as a senior citizen, you're, you're not doing anything to pick up where we tried to put things together, and things are going downhill. And everything, you've got Colorado schools, you've mm. got gangs in South, in Southern Los Angeles, you've got everything going wrong in, in morality. Oh, and you wanted to tell and us... Yes, you just promote the hell out Wait of... Wait a second. You wanted to tell this to Tom Likas? Huh? You wanted to tell this to Tom? Yeah. I, I, doubt, I, I doubt if in your trickery it'll ever happen. I'll tell you what. Hang on. The Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Frank. Hello. Yeah? Yeah. Hello. Now, who's this now? Who am I talking to now? Uh, did, you, uh, did you have something to say? <laughs> I've been through it and saying it and listening to it repeated 15, 20 seconds later on the radio. Oh. But at no time did I ever talk to this great, great artist, Tom Lanka. Lanka. Tom Lanka? You never. You wanted to talk to Tom Lyka. Well, <laughs> you're playing a game, and I guess it's all over. What's all over? I was just trying to get a message through from an, uh, from one of the older citizens. In the last hour, I happened to be doing the dishes in my house. I live alone. I was getting ready to cook my dinner. I turned the radio on. I was listening to all this st stuff that was coming out about how wonderful the young people were and all the crimes that are going on and all the disgusting things that are happening. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. I, I think I see Tom. It's the Tom Laika Show. I'm your host, Tom Laika. And we go to your calls here. This is uh, Frank. Hello. You're going to keep it up, aren't you? You're, oh, you're waiting to talk to Tom. Why, of course, while you're broadcasting it. I, listen, I'm sitting here listening to the radio. But you're not going to broadcast what I'm going to say now. No. I believe that the Tom Laika Talk Show and the other ones on that particular dial should be totally banned. I don't believe they're doing anything for the younger generation. I think they are promoting ill will. I think they're promoting hate. Mm. I think it's promoting every everything that goes on. And I'm listening to an echo in my phone at this moment. Oh. You'll cut that out. Might be a phone problem. No. You're going to cut that out. Cut what out? You mean I'm not going to broadcast what you're saying? I'm, I'm listening to what I just said. Really? I, how are you hearing that? <laughs> okay. What? I got my message across. You had a Wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait. No, you want, you a, you you want to talk to Tom Like? Wait a second. He's coming in right now. It's the Larry Elder Show at 1-800-5800-5800. Larry, this is Frank. Hello. Frank? Yeah? 
How old are you, Frank, if I may ask? Well, I told you when you answered the phone, I'm 79 years old. I was ah. born in 1919 in South Dakota. And you've really? been putting out warnings about, oh, don't you old-timers call in. Don't you do anything about that. But I'm just telling you, the whole thing stinks. You're not promoting good goodwill. Oh. You're inviting... Uh, and I'm hearing myself talk again. How'd that happen? No, yeah, it's amazing. The technology today is oh, absolutely yes. appalling, isn't it? It is. It really yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. We should go back to the days like the Pony Express and Morse code and stuff, don't you think? Huh? No, nothing. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you have the radio turned up? Listen to my radio. I'm listening to you repeat every word I say. You got a, you, you got a, 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 a stunt going on. You're, you're damn good at it and all you think that so? stuff. But the topic, the topic, I'm not talking about the way you do it, the, the technologies and all that, that's, that's way beyond you guys sitting there with the microphones. Hmm. But what I'm saying is that the message that was coming out today about all the wonderful things that were happening. Oh, I'm sorry. If I could ask, could you turn the radio up a little bit, please? I can't really hear it. Oh, you can't? No. Could well, you turn it up, please? Uh, right. You have to turn it up a little louder. Thank you. But what I'm saying is that the message that was coming out. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. About all the wonderful things that were oh, happening. Enough? Yeah, that's just fine. Go right ahead. Radio up a little bit, please. I can't really. You guys are tricky. All right, but I'll just tell you. Anyway, Frank, what did you want to say? I've said it 15 times. I'm going to say it for the last time. Having this show broadcast on our airways is a total disgrace. I think, believe deeply and sincerely that anyone, particularly of a youthful age that listens to it, is going to be led down the wrong path. You, you speak of uh, your, your, your ideas of... Alcohol, driving, mm -hmm. sex, everything that we're trying to trying to quell in our younger generation is being squelched. Oh, honey. Oh. Go ahead and laugh. I don't give a... I don't, I don't care if you laugh. But it's being squelched. And it's interesting how you get people on the air. Oh, honey, I love the way you laugh. I thought that I would be on the, on the radio. Oh, you wanted to be on the radio? Oh, I thought I'd be on there. But you'd cut out everything I said. I did. No, it's been broadcast for the last ten minutes. Well, do you do you want it on the radio or not? No, we're signing off. Oh, we're signing. Now, listen, Amer Listen, uh, t could I have a message to the listeners? Everybody, turn your radio off. Change the dial. Oh, there. Oh, you wait a minute. You wanted to talk to Tom. Tom Likes. Wolf. Tom Likes. Wolf. Eight hundred. Five eight hundred. Tom. 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 One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Teresa, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Um, I have a question for you. Yes, dear. Obviously, you were abused as a child. What I want to know is, was it physical, emotional, mental, or all the above? Are you a psychiatrist? No, I just. Are you one. a psychologist? I just play one on TV. How I see. dare what, you? What show are you on, dear? On attitude, convey the message to all the listeners that. George Harrison passed away. What? Don't give me that line about, oh, we're not a news program. We're not a news you program. You no business conveying anything that you don't check out. Hey, guess what? There is no news department here. Don't believe anything I say. And how dare you for... You are supposed to be representing 97.1. First of all, I don't... I, 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 first of all, uh, first of all, I'm putting you on hold, uh, Grandma, because I'm uh, not going to have you yelling over me. Um, although our show is happily heard, on 97.1 KLSX in Los Angeles, we do not work for 97.1 KLSX. We work for the Westwood One Radio Network, and we do our show from a separate studio. And uh, we have a great relationship with 97.1, but they don't produce our show. And uh, we do not do the show from the station, nor do we directly represent the station. So uh, what do you think about those apples? Abused as a child. Was it physical? Oh, you, know, you got to keep emotional. her back. Grandma, you need some new material, okay? you gotta need, You're going to need some new material, darling. Talking over me. Don't you tell me how to do a show, Grandma. Now I'll put you on hold, and you can sit there for 30 seconds in blissful silence. Here we go.
All right, have you learned your lesson there, sitting in the corner with the dunce cap on? You're not going to tell me how to do the show. Oh, you don't know who you're talking to. I you don't care who about. you are. What are you talking about, dunce? I don't you care know. who you are, Grandma. You old prune. I don't care who you are. Who the hell Who the hell do you think you are? And what are you, 21? I'm younger than you are, Grandma. Grandma. Grandma, my ass. Oh, really? Yeah. And you didn't answer my question. Your How wrinkly you old How ass, you dear. How old were you when you were abused? Obviously, your mama... Are, are you, uh, I'll you tell you what, what, dear. If you repeat that material way. one more time without some new material, I'm going to hang up the phone. you. There's your new material. There you go, dear. Very nice. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. More of our favorite moments of the past are coming up. Don't go anywhere. Generous.